Hey everyone, it's me, it's Joseph from English with Joseph. How are you doing today? I hope that you're all very well. Okay, today I want to talk to you about the letter Z. Americans call it Z, we call it Z, the very last letter of the English alphabet. A bit of a strange choice to talk to you about, but the reason why I want to talk to you about the letter Z is because of Marlena Dietrich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just five or so minutes ago, I was listening to Marlena Dietrich singing Lily Marlene. You know the one, outside the bank, by the village green. I think I'll let her sing it rather than me. <laughs> because let's face it. She sang it for three long years. And she's saying she sang it all over the world. The, the world. I rest my case. That's why today I want to talk to you about the letter Z. Z. Let's hear Marlene's big moment first. Yeah, okay, Marlene, uh, thank you very much for that contribution to my lesson for today. The reason why I'm explaining all of this is because of the letter Z. Quite frankly, Marlene, like many Germans and many Russians, choose to use the letter Z rather than TH for the. For example, in her song there, she's saying outside the bank. Now, this is a common problem that we have with non-native English speakers. They tend to replace these kinds of sounds with their own letters. The comes from the tongue, coming forward and pushing out the bank. As you uh, do this more and more, you, you realize you don't actually have to stick your tongue out. It doesn't have to be the but it can be the, the, just by the teeth, the, the. And that's a very different thing from z, z. <laughs> um, so today we've learned how to say the bank rather than the bank, which is wrong, okay? The bank. Just to go over that again, the the bank, the baker, the job, the friend, the man, the woman. Okay, there's no Z in, in any of those examples there. The other thing I want to tell you is um, another letter which we haven't heard the beautiful money that you used today, but it's another one which um, another error which is quite common amongst Germans and Russians and that is why why <laughs> I've heard this from many uh, Germans and Russians why why do I have to do that now that is completely wrong because WHY forms the word why 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 not why but why now if you look at my mouth we've had this before you and I in previous lessons in fact there's one which talks about the accents and the vowels elsewhere um, amongst my lessons on this site you'll see um, that vowels are generally formed from forming your mouth like this and then pulling the jaw down Okay, why, why, and that's a very different thing from trying to bring in the letter V, which is v, why. Okay, so the correct way of doing this is why, why, why. Okay, so 
uh, that ends the lesson for today. And please, uh, no more vies, okay? <laughs> or Z's. Um, it's why.